Hey, Laura J here on the porch today with a funny story. About a couple minutes ago, I got interrupted from my integration process, which is quite emotional after Soul Shine Festival. And it was just an incredible four days. And I was at a workshop the day before that as well, meeting more great players of the game that are actually in the same frame of mind to say, okay, just because it's normal doesn't mean it's natural or okay. And so they are willing to look at alternative perspectives the way that I've been trying to share over the last decade. And I just think it's so amazing because just a minute ago, I actually got a call from the uh, Bureau of the Canada Borders Association or something to say that there is a parcel being held in my name that contained illegal ingredients and that I was to speak with a border personnel. And I knew it was a scam. But you know what I did? I pressed one and I got through to a man that called himself a chancellor, I believe. And then he basically left the door open for me to give the information that would help me actually trade something that he has no right to. And I would not gain what he would claim that I could and yet it's a scam and we both know it but he's hoping that I might fall for it so that he can benefit and so I just said that I w received a call to say there was a parcel in your name and I would like to know whose name it is that has a parcel that's attached to my number and so he asked if I had a case number and I said, no, I didn't receive any information beyond a call to notify me that you will be accruing negative karma by carrying on in an unconscionable profession. In a career scamming others out of their hard-earned resources, we have become a people that have great reason to be ashamed of ourselves. And yet, to stay in that space is not going to serve anyone. It is time for us to understand that our corpse that we work for, the corporation, needs life force, ours, in order to fuel it and give it authority and power to move it forward for an entity without a body can do nothing and so when you then actually give your life force to that entity or to that corpse you then become the signing person for that sorry a person is a trust among other definitions which is actually less powerful than a man or woman which stands above government in the hierarchy of creation because government was designed to uphold laws to make life easier for man or woman. Therefore, they are called public servants because they are meant to serve us. Servant leadership is what we need to return to, except for so many have forgotten how to follow simply wanting to lead others where they feel like it is best to go, except no, we can't go elsewhere if we don't clean up in here, for we bring us with us. We always bring ourselves with us everywhere we go, which is why even though you may be just trading your time, energy, effort, and attention for money to do your job, your soul is actually taking on the karmic debt load that your choices working for that corporation or corpse accrues. So please do understand that if you have a job that deceives others or even gets them to place their power outside of themselves 
to extend that power to you, for instance, or the corpse that you work for, please understand that is negative karma that is going to keep you in the cycle of samsara or suffering. Suffering. It's going to keep you in the cycle of reincarnation and coming back to do it again because we didn't get it right because we substituted what we came here in order to get paid to fulfill someone else's dream and then do ours in our spare time which so often we're so drained we don't have anything left to give our dream and so then we just make getting along okay and enjoying our time off the extent of our creative capacity and our willingness to accept potential. I want you to understand you actually accrue positive karma when you make choices that are aligned with your soul. So it is a balancing act. And if you are willing to actually come into inner standing of knowing who sits on the soul throne of your inner kingdom, then you can actually put responsible parents on the soul throne of your inner kingdom. And you can actually bring down the kind king and the compassionate queen from the tower they were banished in for all that time before you knew how to draw them forward and say, yes, okay, it is time for you to be the responsible leaders of our home today to move into this day and to make sure that we say yes. We are fully committed to being ourselves. We are fully committed to being ourselves, that is all. The full commitment is in being ourselves so fully that we can be present to this moment where we are, where we land, where we find ourselves in this now moment that is now when you watch this then too. For my now moment will have passed by the time you get here and yet it is still happening now for that is the multi-dimensional layer cake of now time is an illusion time and space by design are ways that we have to bring form into creation it is the ultimate alchemy our self-image is the transformation that we must go through in order to become the one that we've been waiting for. It is not because we must become anything other than we already are, as Maxwell Maltz says in Psycho-Cybernetics, a phenomenal read if you have not had a chance to dig into that yet. He says it is not about becoming anything other than we always were. It is just about unpeeling those layers over top of that which we need to get back to in order to reveal the masterpiece that was hidden within the whole time. What do you think? Is it possible that impossible is only a small... Is it possible that Muhammad Ali was right? That the word impossible is thrown around by small men too afraid to try. Well, it is time for us to say it is not just down to the men, it is the women and children too. For we, us, we must all do our part, for we are here too. We are the ones we've been waiting for. We are the ones we've been waiting for. Yes, you are the one you've been waiting for. You're the one you've been waiting for. You're the one you've been waiting for. Queen onto the throne within your heart and lead from there. For what we must do is become care bears. Be my light into the world. 
It's time for love to be heard. You are the one you've been waiting for. Yes, you are. And so am I. I've been waiting for so long to Somebody who you hoped would save you from yourself. You have more to give to the one you want to share. You call yourself back to this moment when you can be all of who and whose you are and came here to be. You'll see if you take the brakes off of you as you drive through this life and I hope you can expand yourself so that you can be the one you've been waiting for. Yeah. Namaste.